Hi, a slightly different video today and I've been having trouble with this Acer monitor in the background for quite a long period of time now. It's probably about four years old but at around the one year point it started behaving oddly and occasionally it would just turn off and then you wouldn't be able to bring it back to life without power cycling it. What I found now or more recently is just that every time you boot up Windows it seems to just turn off and you have to power cycle it in order to get it to work again. Once it's working it's absolutely fine but whenever you're booting up Windows or if the um, power management has put it into standby, when you then wake it up again it goes blank and the power button doesn't do anything. And it started to get enough on my nerves that I've decided to buy a new one. Now I've had good results with some of the Xiaomi branded equipment from China and I thought I'd have a punt on one and it has turned up today. It's the Xiaomi 23.8 inch monitor that you can see in the background from Banggood and they priced it at about £123. Now I actually got this one for about £90 with a discount code and if you keep an eye out for those discount codes you can normally get a bargain. It's certainly not all that cheap compared to some of the monitors that you can buy in the UK but I did really like the design on this one which is why I ended up going for this one as opposed to one of the more standard ones from eBay or Amazon or whatever. So I thought we'd have a little look at it today. Um, it's branded as a gaming monitor but I really don't think it is. It's got a refresh rate of 60 hertz but the one thing that I did pick it for is the IPS display. Supposedly it's a very nice display, 178 degree viewing angle in all directions and that's really what matters to me. Now I only really use this PC for PCB layouts and also video editing. Uh, you know I want a fairly decent image quality. So this is what you get in the box. You get a 12 volt 2 amp power supply, a HDMI lead, a fairly heavy base and then the monitor itself. Now the stand is actually integrated into the monitor and for some people that's obviously no use, they want to use the visa mount. For me it shouldn't matter too much and this only has a HDMI port so that's the only video input into the device and then there's the 12 volt DC jack. So it looks like the monitor just simply screws into the base and so here is the monitor. It's about 10 millimeters thick. The base actually has a little wing nut at the bottom so you don't even need any tools to put it together but the thing that I really liked about it is how thin the bezel actually looks. If we can focus at the top here, I'm not sure if it will show up but literally the plastic part of the bezel is only about one and a half millimeters thick. Now I don't know if the image goes all the way to the edge so we'll look at that in a moment but this looks super sleek and I think if you had enough space and had a couple of these side by side you'd get a really impressive sort of setup. So I've just powered it up and I can't see any dead pixels or anything like that. The image quality looks really really nice and the colours also really quite true. Um, we have got an English user interface so no problems with worrying about having a Chinese user interface or anything like that. It's got all of the normal settings you'd expect including a low blue light mode for use at night time. So uh, yeah everything seems to check out okay. It has a very matte display um, so really you can't see any reflections other than large bright light sources or big reflections. It doesn't seem to reflect um, you know small objects at all so that's really quite nice. That works quite well with all the lab lights that I've got and it does also check out as a proper IPS screen. The viewing angle is really quite nice. Uh, I'm not sure how well it'll come out on camera but even at super acute angles you can see everything absolutely fine. So uh, that's all looking pretty good. You can see that we have got a bit of an extra um, black area around the screen so the bezel isn't quite the end of the image. If I could try and zoom in here you can see we've got the bezel and then probably about three millimeters so five millimeters in total all the way around the screen but visually it looks very nice and really quite sleek. So not really too much more to say about this monitor. It seems to work fine. I haven't got really any complaints. The only thing I would say is it's sold as a gaming monitor and it really isn't. The response time is six milliseconds which isn't enough for the pro gamers uh, but for general office use, for PCB layout, for watching videos I think this is absolutely fine. The only complaint that I'd potentially have about it is the display backlight is only 250 nits. Now in general office environment that's fine if you're using it in a brighter room you may find that that's a little bit dim. The Dell monitors that I've got on my other PC which I've probably spent about £600 on they go significantly brighter. I've never been able to use those anywhere near full brightness 
but it's always there in case you need it. Um, the display brightness, as you can see at the moment, is probably about as high as it goes. The overall input power is about 24 watts, so that gives an idea of how much power the backlight and everything can use. Now, in terms of the price point, at £123, I'd probably be thinking about buying something from a UK supplier. But if you look out for discount codes and that kind of thing, like I said, I think I bought this for about £95, which is quite a lot more acceptable for something that I'm getting from overseas. Um, they do have a warranty. I've never tried using the warranty on these um, Xiaomi branded equipment, but they are becoming a more popular brand in Europe and everything like that. So I would hope that they would honour the warranty on a failure of something like this. But if we end up with a problem, then obviously we'll be testing that out. So hopefully you found the video useful if you were thinking about buying one of these Xiaomi monitors. I know it's not a particularly technical video, but someone who was looking at it and not sure whether to take the plunge or not, might find a piece of information in this that is useful to them. If you've got any thoughts or comments, leave them in the comments section down below. But until next time, thanks for watching.